Hey Leo Seeker. Welcome to the Existential Shift with Mordane. If you're new, welcome. If you're a, um, a returning guest, a recurring guest, a guest star, of course you're a star. Welcome again. So, November. Hmm. You're used to being the star of the show. So much energy is going around Scorpio and others. And yet, you're still the star of the show. Ace of Swords. Some really sharp, cut through realization, truth, beginning. A push from the universe, serendipity, signs, this is the direction, this is what I'm doing. Makes sense. Aligns. Good. Go. This is also um, aha moments, like it's very much this period of time that we're going through. It's um, downloads, it's like a download after a download of understanding after understanding, realization after realization, solution, resolution, cutting through old yucky gooey energies. Things are being cleared, 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 cleared. And in, a, in an interesting reason, it touches you from the analytical place. My Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, by the way. These are general readings. Feel free to check out your other placements um, if you want a broader picture. Whatever works, right? <laughs> the Emperor. Okay, either a really strong new start with a fire sign. Or really being promoted into a very a higher status, royalty of some sort. Not really royalty, but you know what I mean. Like the crown is being put on your head. It's like, okay, you're the boss. You're the leader. You're it. You could be possibly the one handing out the sword, aka handing out the crown, giving the position, giving the promotion, giving the acknowledgement. And there's alignment with everyone involved. It's like, okay, this is the road. This is what we're doing. Whether people like it or not, people like accept it. Those who don't like it, just they keep their mouth shut, but they accept it. So the air energy is very, very, very focused starting this November. Like you're, you don't see right and left. You know what you want and how to go about it. Another ace, ace of pentacles. Okay. So sharp, analytical, strategic thinking and with the ace of swords and then with the ace of pentacles, it sits right and it has longevity and something that begins really sharp and fast and smooth sets seeds in the ground and you know it's going to grow. A very strong air, fire with the emperor, and earth with the ace of pentacles. This is a real strong new beginning. Again, potentially with this emperor character. Uh, someone is possibly offering you something. Again, could be a position, could be like a, um, could be commitment. You know, could be like okay, let's now let's do this right. Something along those lines. Maybe you're making that offer for someone else in your life. Um, but it's something that I would say yes, because it's very grounded, very strong, very real. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it all. <laughs> Six of Swords, Two of Wands. Three of Swords, Three of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. Let's begin a new row. I feel like I should reverse the order of things. One second. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, there is, um, I, I'm, I'm getting like this, um, this area of water and seagulls and like, you know, on the beach where there's a lot of seagulls and it could be something that is looking towards the ocean or towards the water. Mm. I'm feeling some sort of a, either resort or a retreat or a break or a guest. Um, like someone needs to hide a, potentially needs to heal of a broken heart or from some difficult situation and they, they, just, they just need to have some fun and an opportunity to save money as well. And there's something very allowing in this energy. Um, someone is finally being allowed, give, is being given the opportunity to do what they need to do, to go about what they need to go about with. You know, sometimes someone just needs a chance or a break to heal, to enjoy a little bit, to not think too much, to be allowed to save some money mm. and maybe that's maybe you're the emperor offering that to someone or someone is offering that to you and this is like your opportunity and you're gonna take it with both hands and you're gonna work well with it um, for those of you that resonates with it you're gonna know what to do with it mm. Also, there's um, some someone is feeling left out by either a group or, or friends. They're feeling like someone is being haunted by someone from their past or someone in their present. Um, that there's a certain element of a heartache with. It can be romantic. It could be friendship could be a family member that maybe is away and you don't want you don't know you know how they're doing what's going on with them someone is not sure if someone is either really having a good time or in really in pain there's also a sense of like numbing the pain you know going out a lot in order to not feel but you're being called to find balance between, you know, kind of allowing yourself to let go and have some fun and be at ease, but also to not overspend and save your money and be more so on the side of saving money. So the balance, the, t the scales need to tilt towards the being more practical and responsible because you're giving an opportunity for a new start. five of cups yeah someone is just really in need of healing and of, and of a retreat and someone is having a hard time letting go of a heartache maybe a, a partner past partner some sort of sense of betrayal um, but here's the thing when this opportunity comes with the two aces and the emperor you guys need to not blink okay you guys need to play it cool and be like yeah i'm in and be all in um so you have from now until that happens to dwell to feel to heal to laugh and to cry take that time for yourself so when your new start begins you're ready You're ready, Leo. Ready. Let's keep going. Show me more, please, for Leo for November. Two of Cups. This very well be um, 
a new partnership because I have two aces on the table and now the two of cups. And we went from the three of cups and three of swords, something that didn't work out um, or a sense of being le feeling left out to being the one. And here you are above this couple. Okay. Um, some of you literally played, um, um, you know, like a worked as like been the dating site like connected between two people and it really they really hit it off or something <laughs> but no a lot of you it's just a new partnership and something very very balanced i have here the two aces they're just like, kind of sitting here looking at me hi i'm the ace of pentacles hi i'm the ace of swords and in between the emperor it's like <laughs> it's something with, with with um this can be both work and partnership like i have several things on the table um Two aces, two twos, and two threes. Wow. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, three. Going up. Eight of wands, ten of swords. All right. So this is how it goes. See this two of cups, eight of wands, and then this ten of swords? A very passionate, fast beginning, but that has longevity to it. Long time, long, long term potential. After a, a, a little bit of a time of like emotional mishmash, roller coaster, seesaw, you've been working or are about to work on your balancing yourself. And once that clicks, that balance clicks. Then things are going to start flowing in. Things that you've manifested, things that you've cleared room for. And then the Ten of Swords comes. Now the Ten of Swords is after the pain. It's after the disaster. It's, it's after the nightmare. It's, it's always darkest before the dawn, okay? This Two of Cups and Eight of Wands are the dawn. Of this, of this Ten of, of Swords. But here's the thing. This Ten of Swords came after the Two of Cups and Eight of Wands, not before. So you'll be tempted to go a little bit back to that seesaw energy of happy, sad, happy, sad, sad, working, depressed, whatever. You cannot afford that. I want you to go through as much, and this is where the advice, this is where the cards are awesome because they allow us to really make shit even better than they can be. Work on processing as much as you can now. If things come up in your new beginning with this, with this new partnership, with this new job opportunity, what, whatever it is, if you'll still be in the feels of that, you need to be a damn good actor to hide it. It can't, this is the time to, 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 to analyze and release and resolve. Not once, all, not once all the goodies are coming in. Okay, Libra had something similar. So maybe you want to watch Libra um, reading. It will be like something that haunts you down. Ha haunts you down. <laughs> Isn't that dramatic? Comes back to haunt you. A sensation, a fear, what you had. Don't let it taint the other person, the job. Just work on it now. And if it's not completely resolved, then hide it really well. Or only talk to people who are already know, very much familiar with you, that are not part of this new thing, don't bring it with you. That's a very strong advice that I can give you now. Don't bring it with you. Four of Cups. So, guys, this is amazing. I have two ones, two aces, two twos, two threes, and now two fours. Because the Emperor is also four. Four of Cups. Yeah. Mania di Presia. Seriously. And I need you to I need you guys to hmm. you are on an uphill, okay? You are stepping up in status and opportunities and energy. But it's like your brain is still carrying with it the BS of the past that you've just recently been closing. 
And I don't want that to make you doubtful for the new opportunities and options that are coming in because they are very real, okay? The opportunities are very real, but you'll be tempted to sit and dwell and think. Now it's better. We went from the Five of Cups to Four of Cups. We went down. I have two, three, four, five of cups here. <laughs> Fantastic. But it's going back and forth like a roller coaster, right? It starts with three, five, two, four. It's like a melody. It's like a happy, sad melody, a sweet and sour kind of vibe. But I need you to understand that the opportunities and the offers that are coming are real, the lovers, very real. And this will literally determine saying yes and going for it and making it work and not messing it up will literally determine your route for your future. Like this is, this is a big crossroad, Aries. Aries? Leo, <laughs> watch your Aries reading. Maybe it's relevant. Okay, I'll leave it on the table. No problems. The lovers. The lovers is a major thing. It's a major arcana that speaks of a major choice between paths. And you don't just choose a major path. You need to work for it. You need to make sure that you have the right backpack, the right shoes, the right map. You know where you're headed. For that, you need to clear out other things. Things in the backpack that you don't need. It's going to make it heavy to walk this great path that you chose. Throw it out. These shoes are too tight, too small, not comfortable anymore. Get new ones. It requires actions. It requires getting rid of old things that no longer serve you. It requires bringing in new tools and people and energies that will serve you adapting, fine-tuning yourself so you'll be actually able to walk that path that you're choosing or it won't open up for you or the gates won't open. The key needs to be right. You need to be right for the path too. It's not just the path that needs to be right for us. We need to be right for the path. Look at this universe as the, look at this life as like a living, breathing creature. Oh, you're not walking on me unless you got the right shoes. Uh-uh. I'm not going to let you set a bonfire or camp here if, if you don't know what you're doing. I don't want you going around hurting my trees and my animals. Uh-uh. The wind will blow you away to a different area. doesn't mean that it's not a good area for you. It just means that you're not prepared and energies won't let you. Energy won't let you until you're ready. And what is that energy? What is this analogy of the path? It's your higher self. Your higher self won't allow you to get to a place that you're not ready to get to. Your higher self is not you. It's not your brain. It's not your will. It's not your feels. Your higher self is a mothership. <laughs> and you're a boat swimming in the ocean of life. And your mothership is like this vast soul and spirit that has a vast existence across many lifetimes and who knows, and potentially many uh, universes, you know. That's what quantum physics says. You are a part of the mothership. You ain't the mothership. It's not going to let you go if you're not prepared for the journey. So if there are setbacks, things that you need to fix, things that you need to do, things that you need to learn, be grateful that it's not allowing you to go to a place where you'll get stuck, not ready, not prepared, or ruin it. If you get to a good place too early, you need to be in the right time and the right place. Right time and right place. Mm. 
Leo. Well, I know why I said Aries because of the Emperor here, like staring at me. Hi, <laughs> the judgment. Yeah. Awakening right next to the lovers. This is a calling. Whatever path it is that you're going to take, whatever opportunities that are coming, this is a calling from your higher, from your mothership, from your higher self. Being like, I'm not really asking you. I'm just prepping you for the road. I'm prepping you for a journey. I'm literally packing for you. You think you have a say in it. You don't. So get a hold of yourself. Do the sadness. Do the feels. Do the bummer. Do the memories. Do the anger. Do all that. Puke it all out. Let me know when you're ready. I'm prepping things for you. If I am about to take a long ass trip, a long ass drive, then I need to make sure that my car can handle it. I don't want it to break down in the middle of the road. So if I'm al aligned and in tuned in spirit, slash my mothership wants to lead me in a certain direction, it will make sure that my vehicle is capable. It will show me that there's something wrong by getting it, I don't know, stuck along the road. And then I'll have to take it to a mechanic and then I'll have to discover that this and 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 this are not good. If I were to take that drive without knowing and fixing, oh, won't you? Who knows what would have happened? Who knows if, if I had even gotten to my destination? Your, your, your mothership, your higher self, universal spirit wants you to get there. Wants you to get and to walk the path of where it's calling you to go. And don't get me wrong, this is not a small crossroad in your life. What you're going to do now will affect the rest of your life. Sorry for being so dramatic, but hey, we love drama, Leo, right? So things are being set properly. Be in tune. Listen. Follow the instructions. Wow, lovers and judgment, huh? Another ten. Ten of Wands, the world. Queen of Swords. Okay, there's an air sign that is offering you this new start. Possibil also a possibility. Um, the world with the Queen of, Sar of, Sor of Swords. Uh, the world with the Queen of Swords is global communications. Could be electronic, internet, computer. Um... This could be long distance writings, uh, projects that are operated through, I don't know, Skype, for example, or through shared folders online. Um, but this is something very big, Ten of Wands and the world. So this is potentially for some of you a very big project that you're about to take on yourself that could potentially begin in um, February 2019, which is which is why I want you to be in this this eight of wands is probably this opportunity and if you'll be carrying all that shitty load of um, assy attitude and negativity it will really really um, go into this new opportunity and this new big big thing that is coming so I recommend once again to do the work And Queen of Swords could be an Aquarius, could be aka end of January, February. So also it seems like, oh my God, I have judgment and then the world. <laughs> so you, it means that you're doing it right. It means that you'll go about it properly. It might be feeling a little bit heavy and burdening. And, but once you let go of that burdens and you'll ascend, many of you from February and on are literally starting a new life. Like this is going to be a process of about five, six months, November, December, January, February. Yeah, even four months, because end of January. So between four to five months. 
And then I see you like really soaring, like, okay. But let's see what she's... Oh. And here she is, by the way, potentially the one is holding the swords. The sword. And this fiery individual here is the one holding the pentacle. Air and earth. So this might be the Ace of Swords that we've seen in the beginning coming from this air energy. Or timing is February, but you're working towards it now, or you'll be offered this in November, but you'll start in February. Like that. Mm. Oh, okay, I have all the threes on the table and another seven. Three of wands, seven of cups, three of pentacles. And I already have the three of swords and the three of cups. Okay, major synchronicities here with angel numbers. All that goes into my extended because in my extended, in case you're new and you're not familiar, I take the numerological aspect of the cards and the energetic aspect of the cards. And I talk about that, the numerology that comes from it, the spiritual messages and guidance. And we go way deeper into different uh, narratives from this. And that's just the beginning of the extended. After that, I do a Celtic cross and then messages from the runes. It's, 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 um... Okay, so three of pentacles, seven of cups, three of wands. This is building and creating in the 3D realm. Something that you fantasized about for a long time. Something that has been a dream an elusive dream that you weren't sure if it's going to be tangible or not. You had all, all kinds of opportunities here and there, a little opportunity there, a little opportunity here. And now this is the big shebang. Sorry, I, was, I got a notification. Um, yeah, you're going to really build something that you've been hoping for a really long time. So whatever nonsense you've been handling in the past months or even years that felt heavy burden, that you felt like you just want to give everything up, suddenly something that starts in November manifests in February. But again, these are general readings, so it doesn't have to be exactly these time frames. Uh, so you can just take the general notion of it from it. Um, but you'll do something that you really wanted to do for a really long time. You will work with people on a project or anything. Maybe you'll be, if you're, if you're an artist, maybe you'll be booked for something. Um, if you're a singer, maybe you will be signed on a label. Uh, if you have a certain career prospect, maybe you'll be offered a position that is just perfect and allows you to do what you always wanted to do. Um, there's a lot of freedom in here freedom of expression, freedom of creativity. This could be something that you'll start around this month to communicate with someone about, um, maybe from long distance, and then it will be built when you potentially get to that place. It could be early 2019. Again, it varies between some of you don't, you know, if it happens tomorrow, then great. <laughs> if it happens in March, oh, still great. Hmm. Hmm. Two sixes and two sevens, four threes, wow. And two tens, okay. This shows me that I said it, but I'm going to be affirm it even more. Whatever it is that is coming and whatever choices that you're going to do in the next month really will determine your long-term future. So every delay, every little thing that you need to prepare for, be very happy and grateful with because it's just setting the foundations right and Spirit is being very generous with you. It's literally showing you all kinds of things that you need to do and making sure that you're going about it the right way. And have the intention, set out the intention to do it right and go about it the right way. Be like, I'm willing to listen to the serendipity, to the synchronicities and flow with it and allow you to show me what it is that I need to work on and do to make sure this gets the best, most fertile earth to grow in. I 
I'm like, this is great. You're starting a little bit going back and forth, mesh mesh with your energy, probably because of the temporary thing that you're going through, which is either a retreat or a vacation or a recess or um, maybe it's not like in, the, in, your, in your daily life. Maybe you're still waking up in the morning and going to work and you have your daily habits, but inner, like you're going through a little bit of um, something different inside of you. We, we all are. It's all Venus retrograde thing. For me, it's been intense. I've been going through a lot of downloads, a lot of realizations. Like sometimes, like my dreams or my or my downloads are just. I was like, life changing. No, seriously, life changing. Um, and I'm grateful for every single one of those. Be grateful for every single one of those. Um, Okay, this this is fantastic. <laughs> and here is the other four, four of wands in the bottom of the deck. And the chariot, the ace of cups, the empress, the star, ace of wands. This just does not stop. Wow. King of cups. Okay, you want to see this? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Okay, before I show you, sorry. Before I show you, after I show you what's un underneath in the bottom of the deck, and I'll talk about it, then I'll show you your extended, and then I'll give you a message from the Akashic Tarot, which is the Akashic Records. Duh. <laughs> Links to all that jazz below. Okay, let's see. So, Leos, you're about to rock it. Four of Wands, like, look, this is like <laughs> the Chariot, Knight of Cups, the Empress, another three. This is the fifth three. No, the sixth! I have the world! Six threes! Oh, like, you're, you're, you're beyond lucky. Um, the Star, the Ace of Wands. I'm just going to mention that the King of Cups is also in the house just because the Knight of Cups seems to be growing to the King of Cups, but I'm not going to leave him on the table just because we need to... I mean, we have... Okay. <laughs> so, third ace, my god. Third four. Third seven. Another eight. Okay, so this is what how it goes. This is highly, highly, highly creative time for you, Scorpio. You are going to set ground to form a very strong foundation for something very creative that you have been establishing within yourself, working on creating for a while. If not in, if not with actions, then in essence and with learning about it or. Uh, training for it, or imagining it, or fantasizing about it, all that. An opportunity will really, really, really come. And here we have the Empress and the Emperor. So this is very much love. There's marriage also in the house. Okay? It's like, it's it's very, um, I'm, so it's very inclusive. Readings from the past month has been really amazing. We're all kind of waking up into our... Uh, better better um, potential self like many of us are going to wake up in December and be like is this me <laughs> is this me is this the life that I'm living yes but guess what then work will continue that's when you're going to start working on the next phase but you will really enjoy this current phase because If you have to go about a certain travel or journey, yes, many people are go are traveling this next couple of months. It's I've been traveling for half this year, but a lot of people are going either going back to somewhere or going to, towards somewhere or just taking uh, a detour. But whatever this is, this opens up gates for both um, a very strong leap in uh, career prospects and love prospects. So some of you are being pro 
proposed to. Who else was being proposed to? Never mind. Some of you are about to get married. Some of you are about to get engaged. Uh, some of you are going to move in together. Some of you are going to have a baby. Some of you are just going to really um, be in the spotlight with a project. So if you're the actor that is going to be offered or book something really, really big, it will be in the eye of the public and it will be really good. This could be like your, you know, your break, your huge break. A lot of heartfelt romance here. A lot of people are stepping up, being honest, expressing their heart first and foremost to themselves. And once they express it and become aware of it within themselves, then they also express it outwards to whomever is relevant. The communication is becoming more heartfelt, more flowing, more clear. And again, a very creative project is coming along. And if you need to travel for it or really set new foundations for it, do it. I don't think you even have a dilemma. You think you might have a dilemma, but it's going to be clear to you and it's going to be clear in general that you're going to do it. Who else was really stepping up in the game? Was it Scorpio? Yeah, yesterday's reading. All right. Let's see the fun here. Let's look at all the aces. There's. This is not standard. In my readings, it is because probably I'm looking for it and then the cards are like talking to me the way I understand. Um, but the reading will have so much synchronicity with the um, with the repeating energies. It's not like common. It doesn't just happen. This shows a click. Let's see what happens here. So many threes. And then where are the fours? This is crazy. Like literally every number has a rep I think the only number that didn't have a repetition is five because the change or the move that you're going through is not a complete shift. It's not something completely different. It's a step up to something that you've always wanted or knew about, right? So it's not different. It's just bigger, better. Uh, so let's do the sixes. What other six did I have? There's just so many. I, um, this is going to be a long extended one, do. Um, seven. One five. The only five I have is the five of cups. And there's a reason why it's there's so little of it. Because spirit wants you to be like not to have conflict, not to have a dilemma. Um, and it, it, it's building stability for you. Building stability for you. These are all the major outcomes. Mm. I'm not going to keep the eight if the only other eight is a major. Okay. Wow. Let's see what um, pearls will come out of this. I'm curious. I don't know yet. I'm gonna once I start talking, then just it will come up, come out. But um, and here, so basically, just making note that we have five threes and actually three fours. These are the majors. Three sevens. All right, I'm not leaving it if it's just one. It's just one. It's just making a point. That's why I left it here. All 
Okay. This is the first part of the extended. After that, I'm going to do a Celtic cross. I'm going to do a Celtic cross. One, two, three, four tens of repetitives. Seven repetitive, ten repetitive. The one, two, three, four is the meaningful part of this reading and the majors. Um, yeah. And then, sorry, sorry. And then after the uh, Celtic, we're going to do messages from the runes. This is the first pack of runes that I carved for myself. Um, usually I work with these, but recently I'm feeling like I want to work with these. And let's get you going with the Akashic Records. In case you're wondering, um, I'm sorry if I wasn't clear about that. The link to the extended is below. You can also email me for a private reading. I do it globally, so it doesn't matter where you are. We can talk. I'd love to meet you and get to know you. Um, and also a link to my Tarot Masterclass is also in the information box because if you want to learn tarot, I'm giving you the option. <laughs> um, I don't do book type of tarot interpretation. It includes that, but it's beyond that. All right. Just saying. All right, messages for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please, for the month of November. While we're waiting, um, I recommend to watch your other placements. I also recommend to go back to your October, yeah, to your October reads uh, to make the connections while you're in the midst of the energies or even a little bit past it, because um, that's how we learn by comparing ourselves now to what was recently happening. And thank you for your subscriptions. That shows me that you want to see more of my videos and that you support me. I appreciate it. All right. Are you going to give us a message, please, for Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for November. There it is. Ah, I had such a strange feeling that he will show up. Archangel Raphael. Number eight. This is the third eight now. The star, the eight of wands, and this. So this could be financial abundance, by the way. So Archangel Raphael. <sighs> there we go. Allow me. Oh, you, you want to read it yourself? Okay. No, it's annoying? Okay. The Archangel Raphael walks down a path and approaches you, sharing his, his healing and uplifting light. He is a profoundly loving spirit who has an important role in bringing the Akashic power to you. This beautiful being carries the energies of love, family, miracles, healing, and blessed journeys. He can share all these intentions and experiences with you, and more. Of all the Archangels, Raphael most often comes in the guise of a human. This card can indicate that helpful others may be attending you now. It also portends a time of great achievement in your personal life, and Raphael is opening the door. Blessings abound with this card upright. There may be a renewal of a lost dream. Ah! Ah! Did I not say with the Three of Wands, Three of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups? Did I not? And, and, and then the chariot comes in and being like, Yeah, you're not giving this up. No. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just excited. Uh, there may be a renewal of a lost dream, a reuniting of family members, or a healing. Perhaps of a physical condition or of a broken heart. Even if these conditions have been hanging on for a while, now is the time when you can really break through. Let Raphael be your partner in this process, and you'll soon see why they call him the miracle worker. Yeah. We like miracles. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? All right. I will see you in December. I will see you in a second. The extended. Happy Halloween. Thank you for your support. You're welcome to subscribe. And...